So next time you cross a bridge, have a drink of water, or even flush the toilet, have a thought for civil engineers. I'll take you through a little bit about what civil engineering is all about. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting or new to this channel, my name is Zanella. So I've seen a lot of comments and some of you guys reaching out to say you're always speaking about mechanical and electrical engineers. Why aren't you saying anything about chemical engineers or civil engineers and other types of engineering fields? This is predominantly because the series of content that I've shared has been centered around the GCC or Government Certificate of Competency, which is for mechanical and electrical engineers. It does not mean all the other types of engineering fields are not important. In fact, we wouldn't have some of the basic requirements that we do if it wasn't for civil engineers, chemical engineers, and so on and so forth. I have spoken about civil and chemical engineers in relation to PR eng or PR technicians and PR technologists when registering with ICSA as a professional engineer. Right now, I'll speak high level about what civil engineering is about for those individuals who might be in high school looking to make their decisions on which field in engineering should I study or those who are already studying or even in the workplace who might want to change in their careers. So like other engineering fields, civil engineers conceive, design, build, supervise, operate, and maintain infrastructural projects in the private sector or even in the public sector. So this includes roads, buildings, tunnels, bridges, dams, systems for supplying water and sewage treatment. And many civil engineers either work in research and development, they work in maintenance, some are in academia as educators and lecturers. Many civil engineers are in construction and planning. You also find some civil engineers in design. Some of the duties of civil engineers are long range plans and to survey reports and maps for design and for planning projects. They consider the cost implications of projects and, and particular changes, government regulations, local legislation and requirements, environmental impact of certain projects, and are also key in risk assessing any particular impact of whatever project is being designed or being brought about. Civil engineers may also lead teams that compile and submit reports for permits and making sure that whatever designs or changes are being made are compliant to legislation. They oversee and analyze the results of soil testing to ensure and analyze the necessary strength of foundations. They lead teams and analyze the results from material surveys and the tests on building materials, such as concrete, wood, steel, or asphalt that is required to be used for a particular project. In projects, they may lead the business case or lead to the cost implications of labor, equipment, materials that are necessary to complete a particular project. They may use design software for designing infrastructure, hydraulic systems, transportation systems, and so on and so forth. And in some instances, they are also in maintenance where they repair, replace, and maintain public or private infrastructure. Many civil engineers hold either administrative or supervisory roles where they supervise constructions at a particular sites. They're also responsible for making sure that safe working practices are implemented or in place for whatever projects that they oversee. Civil engineers are sometimes assisted by civil engineering technicians and as mentioned others work in design and construction and research and in education. Some examples of what civil engineers also take part in are photovoltaic or solar energy type projects. Also analyze things like solar array support structures and buildings to tolerate stresses from the conditions such as wind, seismic activity and other external sources. It's not always the case, but sometimes you find civil engineers specialize in one or more fields. So some may be construction engineers who manage construction projects, such as streets, buildings, roadways. Others are geotechnical engineers who work on foundations to make sure that its runways, buildings, dams are solid. Structural engineers would assess and design things like bridges, and transportation engineers would focus predominantly on roadways, railways, airports, ship ports, harbors, and mass transit systems. The work of civil engineers is also closely related to the work of environmental engineers. So what to study to become a civil engineer? Civil engineers technically study towards a bachelor's degree in civil engineering, depending on different institutions. Some may be a BSc, some a BEng. Over and above the engineering degree for civil engineering, in most instances, you do require special licenses to operate. You may consider going for a PR Eng and be registered with ICSA as a professional engineer. So the learning journey and the certification doesn't end only at getting the degree. One may consider further studies and certification to obtain freedom to act and to practice. So as you can imagine, it is a lucrative career to consider and to step into because day in and day out, we constantly engage with the works of a civil engineer. If you have organizational skills, critical thinking, problem solving, love to see things come alive. You want to one day walk past something and you know that your name or your hand is on it, then maybe consider a career in civil engineering. 
Leave a comment below. What are some of the best things you've seen that a civil engineer has been a part of? Remember to live your best life. Learn as you grow and lead for change. Be a positive influence. Shout.